Hey, what's up guys? It's Dom from Whole Printing Inc. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to apply your powder onto your DTF sheet. If you guys haven't seen already, make sure to go take a look at all of the previous DTF videos to make sure you guys get quality prints and flawless prints every single time you print a DTF sheet. Now, what I do guys to conserve my powder, as shown in previous videos, is I actually take my powder and I put it inside this drawer right here. So, as you guys can see right here, we have the DTF white powder. And if you open this cupboard, as you guys can see, we have the DTF powder. I'll actually be inserting more powder at the moment right now. You just take your powder, and like I said, I keep it in a drawer. This makes sure that no like hair molecules or other little particles get on the powder itself. So I'm just going to dump it all out. I actually need more white powder now. Once your powder is in your drawer, or if you're not using a drawer and you're using like some sort of tub, whatever that your, feet, your sheet can actually fit into. So what I like to do is just spread my powder evenly. So I'm just taking my drawer and shaking it like this. So I'll show you guys how it looks. There we go, guys. So, guys, I'll have links for um, DTF ink down below. So you guys can get your own ink if you got the printer. Soon, I'll have a link for DTF sheets. So these actual sheets, I'll be able to sell it to you guys for mad cheap. And also soon, I'll have some DTF white powder for you guys on sale. The reason why I got the ink is I bought it in bulk so I can make good pricing for you guys. Now I just need to buy the powder in bulk and also some sheets in bulk to be able to make you guys, uh, well, basically hook you guys up with some insane pricing uh, without sacrificing any quality. Stuff for printing is out of stock right now, so sheets and powder may be hard to find, such on Amazon. I know that there's no more powder and no more sheets at the moment of this recording. So if ever you guys uh, can't make your sheets a reality, if you already got the printer, we also sell sheets down below. There'll be a link where you can just send us your logo by, via email and we'll make your print a reality. So guys, once your powder is in your uh, drawer or in your tub or whatever you're using to be able to actually store your powder, we'll be actually applying the powder onto the sheet. So I'll show you guys how we do this in one second. All right, guys. So the sheet is done. This is how it's looking right now. Obviously, with the camera angle, it's a bit hard to see from this far. But this is the back. This is the front. Now, what I like to do is I'm holding it from the side. Like I said, do leave yourself some uh, space to be able to actually grab your sheet properly from the back side. So as I showed you guys early, I left some nice uh, space. Only thing I would do differently next time is leave some space on top. So, I take my sheet like this, I'm holding it, okay, from the backing, and now I just apply it against my, uh, my stomach area, and I'm going to grab uh, the sheet, I'm going to lay it on my leg, and just grab it from the bottom, like this, with my tongue, and then let it drop, and grab the other side with my thumb. Now, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to pull up here. Now, this is the overpowered uh, thing of having it in a drawer. I can just use my sheet like this, and use it as a scooper. So slowly, I use my sheet to scoop the ink, uh, scoop the powder, pardon, like I'm shoveling snow. So I'm shoveling snow, and then I use my sheet as a scooper to just scoop the snow, aka the powder, onto the sheet, and just slowly shake while the snow, aka powder, is coming down the sheet. So I'll just do it like this for the first round, and then I'll show you guys a different angle, so you guys can maybe see a bit better what I did. So... Now that the powder has been scooped one time, I'll just put my sheet to the side and I'll take my drawer and just shake it again. So we restart. And as you guys can see, the powder is straight once again. And I'll try to get you guys another angle right here. All right, guys, I'm not too sure how you guys will see. You're actually in the drawer itself. So same principle, guys, for the second round. We just use the sheet as a shovel. We shovel our powder like this. And then we scoop it as so, and we just shake it onto the sheet. Make sure it goes on every logo. Shake, 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 as so. And we're going for the third round. Shake, shake, shake. And there we go, guys. 
Now we're not done right now. Next step. I'm gonna close our drawer, actually open our drawer. Now we're just gonna wait for this to focus a bit. Now what we're gonna do, you're gonna take your sheet, always make sure that you don't touch the actual print. And you're just gonna shake it as so. You're gonna see white powder is gonna go everywhere. Shake it a bit. This takes off the excess powder that you won't be needing. And you're ready to insert it into the oven. If you guys haven't seen the video already on the proper bake baking settings to ensure proper prints each time, make sure to click up here to learn how to bake your sheet perfectly each time. This was Dom from Whole Printing Inc. Make a print you'll never forget.